Oh no. 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 What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome to Pacific Drive. This is a brand new uh, game that just came out, and I've gotten a lot of recommendations from all of you, so thank you so much for that. I really don't know too much about this game outside of it being an open world, like, survival mystery driving game. And uh, I've always really enjoyed, like, driving horror games in the past. And this looks very, very fun. Explore the Pacific Drive, lush forests, hiking trails, and scenic drives. The Olympic Peninsula. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Rainforest, Hurricane Ridge, Cullalock, and Ruby Beach, Lake Crescent. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just take the first one. New game. Would you like to customize your settings before you start? I already did a little bit of a customization. Like turning on streamer mode so we don't get any copyright music. Other than that. We're ready to go. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. Very strange. Very interesting. What happened inside was never disclosed. Hmm. Very interesting. Very mysterious. Excited to see where this leads us. Excited to drive some cars. Mr. Fairy, what are you doing over there? <laughs> oh, the JS Express shipping manifest. Order form, address, duck, deliver, unload, clean, K? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, we're just, we're going straight into it. <laughs> you know, I might turn down the music ever so slightly. Let's get that audio, master volume. Let's get the master volume. Ooh, yeah, that's just, that seems fine. Radio music, down an extra 80. Cool. South of the barrier wall. Oh, okay. All right, we're moving. <laughs> Let's turn those wipers on, baby. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Let's turn those wipers off. All right, cool. I like I like the environment. I like the setting so far. Let's see, how far can I turn around? So I got some stuff in my uh, in my back seat. Got my goodies here. I can turn my lights on and off. This is fun. You got some bumpy terrain here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, should I go over there? I don't know where to go. I guess I'm just following the road. Oh, okay. Oh. Well. <laughs> so, from what I do know about this game, I did look it up. And uh, it seems like the game is anywhere from like 15 to 40 hours long, depending on seed to toggle wipers. Okay. Oh, okay. Like, depending on how, how much you put into it, because it is an open world, in a sense. So I'm excited to kind of jump into this and have a, a good game to keep me keep me occupied as I do these Let's Plays. So I hope, hope you all enjoy it, and of course, if you enjoy this, enjoy me playing it, uh, make sure you hit the like button. It, it helps me know that this is something that you want to continue to see me play and subscribe to. If you're not subscribed, happen to click on this video and like what you see. <laughs> Not me, the, the game, of course. It's not me. <laughs> oh, this is so cool looking. So pretty. <laughs> Running into the barriers. I'm a terrible driver. <laughs> so am I just a delivery guy then? I guess, I guess I am. Oh, ooh, Z, toggle headlights, got it. Okay, so there's a lot of hotkeys, it seems. I really hope this isn't copyright. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I turned on the streamer mode, by the way. So let's uh, make sure that that is, wait, oh, stop. 
Stop, stop the car, stop the car right now. I need to know what this sign says. <laughs> Warning, high R, R levels facility, extreme caution vise, further inquiries directed to gate C2B. Okay, got it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be stopping, taking a look at things. Oh, there goes my radio. Restricted area, authorized personnel only, okay. Oh, is this the exclusion zone up here? This giant wall? Okay, same thing. That is huge. Why do they need such a massive wall? Caution, danger. Okay, I guess I'm off-roading then, aren't I? Warning sign, nothing else on it. At least nothing that I can see. Rocks! <laughs> Alright, cool. Restricted area, authorized personnel. I'm authorized! I got a delivery! <laughs> I'm the greatest Amazon delivery driver this world has ever seen. Let me drop it off these packages, even if it's a secured government facility. <laughs> What's that? Like some weird... Oh, what the... Okay. Well, I'm just gonna keep going. This... this shouldn't matter. Keep out. No, no. I'm coming in. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Was there a pipe leak? Alright. Oh, no. All the lights are shutting off. There's rocks just phasing in and out. Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, my car shut off. <laughs> That's not good. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Hold up! Wait! <laughs> All right then. <laughs> well, there goes my car. <laughs> and me, of course. All of us are just. Oh! <laughs> Gone. Oh. Cool. So are we inside the zone now, I would assume? My tire, the Olympics exclusion zone. Oh, okay, get to safety is my objective. Top right corner. Sprint is shift, obviously. Find transportation. Well, I thought this was a car driving game. Where's, where did my car go? It's just gone. Oh, see you later, Mr. Car. Oh, my little bits and pieces. My bits and pieces. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this is cool. Here's my engine. Love that. <laughs> go engine, go! Break everything in your path! <laughs> oh, the hood of my car. My favorite window! My favorite door! <laughs> my box, my delivery! <laughs> This guy's going full spin mode right here. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, it's probably uh, important that I keep moving forward. Find this transportation. Gotta get along my way. What is that? Is that a speaker? <laughs> Weird. I wonder if I lick this goo if it will make me float too. <laughs> Surely it couldn't be dangerous. No dangers in here at all. Okay. So I can either go that way, or see what's over here real quick. Oh yeah, toxic water, my favorite. <laughs> my favorite kind of water to walk in. What's that? What is all of this? It's very dark, I might, uh, depending on how the game progresses. I might turn up the brightness ever so slightly. This is bright in some areas, but... Oh, this is literally just where we started. <laughs> Gets pretty dark in other little sections. Little sectors. Alright, through the... Oh, you're not supposed to touch that goo! Not supposed to touch that goo! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we know the goo is dangerous. We know it is dangerous. Let's keep that in mind.
I like the art style of this game too. It's got a cool, cool look to it. It's not hyper realistic, but it's realistic enough. But it has a, a nice kind of aesthetic to it. F to kick. Yo, I can kick things. Oh, let's go. Hello. Tobias. Tobias. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. <laughs> Hello? Who is who, who goes there? Who's yelling at me? Let's see, how do I uh put the wheel back on? Oh. E to pick up. Got it. Install summer tire. Okay. And we could just get in. Oh. Nice. Start the engine. It's turning this bad boy on. Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I I read you. There'll be a distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. This is cool. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. It's me. Ah, okay. I put it in drive. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you <laughs> copy? I, I don't know how to reply to you, buddy. Hello? Is this thing working? <laughs> they, 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 they don't have a transmitter. Oh. Um. Thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded. Could they I mean Where are you they're from outside? They're a preacher. A preacher? Hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, you're in serious danger. Okay. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Instability. The shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can and be quick about it. Got it. Thanks, Tobias. Gosh, this car is jacked up. It, it, it steers to the right without me controlling it. <laughs> I need to get some better uh, equipment to get this car back in order, apparently. Yeah, Tobias, I don't know how to tell you this, but I just kind of phased in here. I went through the sick portal. It was leaking out of a gooey, oozy pipe. <laughs> Not my problem. I didn't really do it. Oh, oh. My car. Siphon fuel, okay. Put this in park, open the door, get out. Oh, check your trunk for a fuel can, okay. <gasps> Take the fuel can, oh, cool. Siphon fuel from the broken down car. Got it, <laughs> just. <laughs> oh, we got a siphon machine. <laughs> That's convenient. That is very convenient. <laughs> Don't have to suck it out manually. <laughs> All right, where's my fuel tank? Here we go. Fill her on up. Okay. Hopefully this will get us going pretty well. So I've always been in the mindset that uh, I've never been too big on. Oh, oh, oh! I gotta. I just gotta go. I just gotta go. I just gotta go. I think. <laughs> Drive car. Drive, car, drive! Drive, car, drive! <laughs> oh no. Remnants. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... Oh, a wait. car. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? <laughs> Holy Christ! Oh, no! <laughs> Boy, I'm killed to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Huh. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the preacher needs to get to safety. Then people can know whether that car is a remnant or not. And my sure. Of hearts, I already know. They're back, baby. Okay. Sure. Uh, so they don't know about cars? 
So are we transported somewhere into the future by chance? Oh, I'm plowing through. Oh. <laughs> I'm curious. I'm curious how this the lore in this is all working out. Oppie's Auto Shop. Got it. All right, stop the car. Turn it off. Put it in park. Get out. <laughs> um, store the fuel can. There we go. But yeah, I was gonna mention I, I I've never been like too big on survival games like mechanics like hunger oh and sleep super annoying but if they if they manage to do that in this way but with like a gas in a car like that's a that's a good way to go about it I, I don't know if this is considered like a survival game um in the same capacity but public notice board yeah just the start hello I turn this on flip the breaker Whoa! Whoa! Look at this! Who's there? Hello? Shop. God, it's been breached. Who's Oppie? You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I... Oh, my head. Who's talking? Uh, it's an emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We send a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Okay. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car, and, well, uh... Oh. Yeah, all the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Uh, uh, <laughs> right, like I said, super official zone business. Protocol, uh demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. <laughs> 10 years and 16 volumes and... <laughs> That's a lot of volumes. like a nail gun to the skull. So where's... Where's your voice coming from? Another breach, uh huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun. Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait. Oh, are you talking through my I remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing and I'd kindly like you to I get the hell is. out of my zone. Oh. Do my... Oh, God, unfortunately. <laughs> What am I talking about? The wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. Got it, okay. To find your way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. <laughs> what are you calling the soft hands? I got perfectly normal hands. <laughs> okay, let's pick up the backpack. What? Oh, you need help? There's a headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. Okay. Pick up mechanic's eye. So I'll probably have my face cam in the top left corner, by the way. Um, so everything's going to be reversed for me. I won't look normal. <laughs> Hello. The mechanic's eye. All right. Whoa. Interesting. Okay, maybe I'll keep my face in the top right corner. <laughs> I don't know, actually. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, first aid station. Open it up. Oh. Fix the car. Uh, what is happening? Logbook. A logbook? How do I open my logbook? Is it L? Uh... <laughs> Inventory? L for logbook? M for map? Uh, I don't know. Put the wheel back on. Okay. First aid station. I don't, uh, I guess that healed me. So 100% health, 0% radiation. It's got a lot of, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in this game. I'm gonna learn, I have to learn the mechanics here. <laughs> of course, my summer tire, it's all messed up. Let's put it back on here. <gasps> oh, I had the little brrrr. So what does this do? Ah, oh, it takes it off, oh, okay. Oh, to subtract it, got it, got it, got it. I understand, I understand. Uh, wait, what is the log button? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Fix the car. Pull the car in. Oh, we need to pull the car. <laughs> sorry, I'm getting used to everything. Let's, sorry, get, wait, what is F? Oh, F is kick. So E to get in. There's so many buttons. There's so many buttons. This is wild. Turn it on. 
Put it in park, aka reverse. Let's get this bad boy up and over here. Oh, not in the wall! <laughs> Alright, let's keep it moving. We got like a giant old 80s Lincoln over here. This thing drives like a boat. <laughs> Hope I can get like a, some sick sports car in the end game. Okay, parking sensor. Got it. So let's put you in park. Let's turn this off. And let's get out. Did I not pull it in far enough? Uh, no, we should be fine. So crude door, add to your to-do list. Crude door. Uh, open headset operating system. Um, oh, is it tab? Oh, it's tab. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay, missions. Fix the car. The car of yours needs some attention. Add to crude door. Got it. My route map. Interesting. Dark. Spooky. Uh, oh, right clicks to hold and drag. So this is the entire map. This seems pretty cool. So this is three hours away. Junction E5, JCT. Uh, junction E8, the auto shop. Junction conditions. What am I looking at? What did I get myself into with this game? We got little rabbits over here. Gas station. Clouds. The garage, obviously. Gas station. Okay. And then our logbook. Here we go. Car ability. Certain components and equipment that will install on your car have abilities that need to be activated. You can assign controls to up to four of these using the small panel on the left side of your dashboard. Okay. Got it. In car controls. While in the driver's seat, you can steer, brake, reverse, shift between park or drive, and of course, turn the ignition key. You can also toggle the radio, headlights, and windshield wipers. Should all else fail, honk the horn. You can remap these controls and camera change camera settings in the options menu. Got it. And then this is the auto shop. The auto shop is your base of operations. You're safe there, so you can take your time between drives to fix up the car, craft parts, and research new upgrades. And while on foot, you can walk, run, crouch, and jump. You can also pick up, drop, throw, and kick items in certain objects you come across. Should you come across any buttons and keypads, feel free to press away. You can remap these controls in the options menu. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Sounds good. So that seems to be everything. Uh, oh, and then what is all this? Car maintenance. Oh my... Whoa, it's just, there's a crafting menu? <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, you want me to open the headset? Sorry. So wait, what do you want me to... Do? Oh, this is my pack. Got it. What exactly do you want me to do? Resources. I... Uh, it <laughs> it's telling me to open the headset operating system, but I... I this is not it? <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Uh, crude door. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Crude door. Blueprints. It's a blueprint. First aid kit. Uh, why is it? Crude door. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. It, it was clicked on that for some reason. Um, crude door. This weary, flimsy piece of oxidized metal will both open and close. Yes, yes, yes. We know how a door works. So let's pin this to my checklist. Uh, that plus C? C. Okay, so it's pinned to my checklist. <laughs> There's a lot going on. I have my to-do list in the left-hand side, uh, and I'm assuming I just need to go find these materials. So let's go look around this junkyard. Crew panel. Pry bar. So gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. Search the toolbox by the garage door for a pry bar, because I can't get in there. Got it, okay. So we got a pry bar. Okay, okay, I'm starting to understand how this game works. Uh, grab some duct tape. And what is this? A mechanics kit. All the most essential items equipment that allow a mechanic to do their job. You'll want a few of these on standby to handle engine or wheel trouble. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, I'm gonna put you here. Can I uh, rotate? Rotate, R. Yes, sweet. Okay, cool. And I got some duct tape, which is great. So let's open this now. Or no, I have to open the inventory. Uh, do I, oh, I need to put it in my hand. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, this makes sense. Pry bar. Got it. Shift click? Yeah, there's a shift click. Thank goodness. P 
Perfect. So for the checklist, I got two out of two for the broken glass things. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Steel door. Can't just take that, it seems. No, no, no. Okay. So, gather items from the... Search the dumpster by the garage door for crucial items you're unable to craft. Okay. Friendly dumpster. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Scrapper. All right. Uh, I got a road flare. A couple road flares. Thank you, Mr. Trash. Uh, Mr. Dumpster. <laughs> Are you alive? This is great. Okay, so tear into anything and everything out there with this voracious homemade tool. Reduce items to raw materials in moments and walk away feeling mighty. Okay, so let's replace that in our hand. No, 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 cancel. Uh, I'm trying to clo- no, cancel. Uh, error. Why is it giving me an error? Oh, because they were stacked on top of each other. Sorry. All right, so let's scrap this then. I don't know if I should be doing this. Uh, scrap the abandoned cars, wheels, panels, and doors. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ah. Ah, okay, cool. Give me that summer tire. <laughs> You're mine now, baby. Ah, interesting. Fuel tank. <gasps> There's a little bit of fuel in there. Hold on. Let me grab this fuel can. Oh, trunk storage. No, no, give me a fuel can, please. Interesting. Oh, very interesting. So let's take this. <laughs> Siphon, please. Oh, okay, and then just below I can see how much is in the little fuel tank, which is the perfect amount. Uh, I guess I can, yeah, I can fill this back up. Sweet. Okay, okay, I'm slowly getting there, slowly but surely figuring this out. Is there any more? Yeah, there was a slight bit more, okay. Now let's put that back in here. Cool. Put this back up here. Trunk gunk. Uh, and then I can go to number three. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's all making sense. Can't break that. Let's get this crude panel gone. Nice some raw materials here. So how much energy does this have? Like, how do I know? I see it has like a use bar down here, but how do I get it back up and running? Is it just gas? Got plastic, another junk, other scrap, some are tire. Can't just pick you up, so I guess that's just toast as well. Sick. Okay. Oh no, one more panel. We gotta get everything off this car, because I don't know how quickly I'm gonna need some more of these little parts and pieces. Sweet. Whoa. All right, so now craft a crude door in the shop. So we got our workbench here. Crude door. We can go ahead and hit craft. I have all the materials. And that's it. So we got crude door. Um, so I assume I just need to back out now. Yeah, okay. And I just have a crude door here, so let's install this. <laughs> cool. Now get the repair putty from the locker. Got it. Repair putty. Okay. Uh, repair putty. When you don't have the time or the resources to perform extensive repairs, this is a spit and tape solution that will carry you through and fix up the worst of things. Spare tire. Oh, awesome. Um, oh. Not awesome. I need to move things around. So let's get you here. Let's get all these long boys down. Uh, is that a rubber duck? <laughs> oh, it's just a rubber. <laughs> okay, I want to replace you with you. Put this up here. First aid kit can go there, and then this can rotate. No, it can just fit right there. Awesome. Close it. And then I should be able to store a few things. Um, let's open inventory. And how do I get stuff to go into here then? No. No. Oh, do I store it like this? So spare tire would need to go to my hand then. 
And I could put trunk crafting. Oh, trunk storage? Uh, okay, they'll probably explain it later. <laughs> Let's equip the repair buddy uh, here. Got it. And use the repair buddy to repair the car. All the structural parts. Got it. So I guess the front bumper? <laughs> Perfect. Love that. Let's get the whole front end here. Ah, I see. It helps to reduce the rust. Cool. All right. Not bad. Let's get this door all fixed up. <laughs> I like this. I like this so far. Still repairing. Still going. And done. Let's get... Ooh, this crew panel's really rough. Let's get that fixed up. <laughs> so much duct tape on this car, it's great. Okay, get this panel. I think it'll straighten out the actual uh, <laughs> panel. It is, it straightened out the door a little bit. That's cool. Uh, next panel, please. This one, the door I just made. Oh, it's already uh, fully gooped up, I guess. Love that. That's great. Oh, this panel needs a lot of work. <laughs> cool. Okay. There we go. 100%. Fix the flat tire. Oh, scan the flat tire. Uh, scan the flat tire. What do you mean? Oh, C to scan. Oh. Okay. Repair the flat by crafting and using a sealing kit, or replace the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. Spare tire found in the locker. I assume this is the one I'm holding. I feel like I should fix this um, by making a sealing kit. So let's go over here to the workbench and sealing kit. I've got everything for that, so let's craft it. It's in my inventory. So let's seal this up real quick. <laughs> I love that. Okay, scan the loose wheel and... Ah, okay, so scanning this one. Scanning. <laughs> loose wheel and equip the mechanics kit. Ah, uh, which is this one? Yes. Got it. So let's go ahead and use the mechanics kit to fix the loose wheel. <laughs> plum plum. <laughs> that was great. Okay. Cool. Zone preparation. Install the cardboard boxes in the trunk. Oh, so this will become my storage. Warning, hands only. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, okay. So now I can put that in here. Awesome. 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 Install craft mat in the trunk. Okay. Uh, it's this. So let's install. Install arc oh, device in the passenger seat. Oh, there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Okay, got it. You know, uh, just immediately, I am going to up the brightness ever so slightly while we're getting through this. Let's see how that works. Uh, huh. Yeah, I think that's maybe a little bit better. Uh, yeah, install the arc device. Got it. And that goes into the passenger seat. Ah! Bam, bam, bam. Cool. That's cool looking. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's Got how it. important this thing will be to you. Okay. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Okay. I look forward to it. Steel sheet. First aid kit. I don't know if I should be putting this all in here yet, but uh, I'm just going to start putting it in here right now. I'll probably want to organize this a little bit better as we move further along, but uh, for now, this is just what we're going to do. Okay. So pick up the gear blueprint by the front door. Oh, by the front garage. Okay, blueprint gear. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the gear in my log book. 
horror abilities. We already got that. So, oh, there's so, oh, I'm not going to read all this <laughs> until I need to. Impact hammer blueprint. Got it. So we're just learning how to make things. Use the pump to fill the fuel tank. Oh, there's a pump right here? Oh. Oh, I wish I had... Hmm. Saved that for later. Throw the switch to charge the battery. Okay, so let's put this down. Oh. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, battery charging time. Charge that. Oh, boy. Take a look at the projector against the wall. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's take a look at the projector. The route planner. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What Interesting. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye. And it does constantly. Okay. It's caused by something we call instability. The instability. You're surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. Got we it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now, and that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If okay. we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The off device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay. Cool. I'm assuming I should go to this question mark location. Also, I, I like how we can see the different type of regions. So this... I'm assuming... Actually, yeah, where, where's the actual wall? Because this... Is this supposed to be a wall? Or is this supposed to be... Oh, yeah, I would assume that's a wall. And these are like the entry points, or like a bridge. Uh, but anyway, this is like the general zone, like kind of mountainous, foresty. We got the swamp, and then this is like this super crazy, corrupted area. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and select this destination, I guess. The go. only one. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Okay. Thanks. Well, all these people are so helpful out here. I really appreciate them. Oh, why is this locked? I would like a flashlight for some of these areas. Uh, it'd be nice. Door. So that has a lock on it. I'm curious if I should be... Oh, I got a radio. Cool. I'm curious if I should be looting this place a little bit more before I move forward. I will look... Oh, look at that cool game boy. Got some soup rations. Employees only. I want to go into the employees only. <gasps> Rocket Cola. Space glow, rocket fuel, Neptune ice. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, this one's locked too. Interesting. I like that. Oh, you can just go out that way. I like that there's a good mix between both driving and walking around. Like, obviously, this game's going to. Computer. Scan it. Consumer electronics. Oh, yeah, it's doing stuff. Recommended tool, scrapper. So maybe I should keep the scrapper on me, um, just so I don't have to go in and out of my inventory here. Scrappy, scrappy! Uh, I guess you can go like that for now. And then I'll put you in my hand. Okay, and it immediately wants to put you up there. No thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's scrap this electronic equipment real quick. Oh! Hey, that's a lot of good electronic equipment. Copper wire, electronics, sick. Oh, ooh! <laughs> I just threw that on accident. Uh, C. So another thing for the scrapper. Okay, so there's a lot that we can scrap and do stuff with. So I actually want to look up this scrapper on my inventory. Um, durability 860. Uh, let's press V for more info. 23 piercing damage per second. Durability, it's an essential item. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I guess I just need to either make another one or I need to find more of these. But let's let's just get in the car. Let's get going. Oh, I forgot to close that door. <laughs> Manual car dashboard. Okay. 
Let's get on the road. Uh, radio is playing. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of options there. Uh, what is it? Oh yeah, what is this? What is this? Uh, abilities equipped. There's no abilities. Um, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. Let's turn on the car, first of all. Oh, my door's open. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta close this. <laughs> Alright, let's get in. Okay, so I've got no trunk, obviously. Uh, front left tire is... low? <laughs> let's touch this. Okay, so I'm here. I need to get on this road, I'm assuming? <laughs> oh, you can put your own waypoint. That's cool. Uh, X to remove it. All right, <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. We gotta, I gotta get situated with this game for a little bit, I would say. <laughs> There's a lot to learn in the beginning. I hope you're still sticking around. Uh, but we're on our way. We're going to our next point of interest. We've got our car all souped up. Got some sick goodies here. What's that floating balloon? Speed limit 45. Better be a safe driver. <laughs> Okay. So what is this, then? Oh, this reminds me of Half-Life. Whoa, whoa! What just happened? What, what, just, what just happened? Okay. What? Trap? Oh, wait, what? Oh, I guess that was like a travel point. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Protected. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> Junction E5 radio station. Residential damp forest outer zone. Perpetual stability. Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. Thank you. You need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The plasma. Littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a smoke tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay. Uh, there we go. Oh wow, it's really, it's really coming down. All right, so there's a lot of different things here apparently. So find and scan a plasma generator. Recommended collect materials and craft uh, replacement parts. There is so much going on right now. Okay, we gotta we gotta get going. <laughs> it is wet. It is torrential downpour rain right now. I gotta be careful. The art device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Sure. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator, and it'll take it out the tools you need. Got it. Okay, let's park the car, like, right here. Should be fine. I wonder how safe I'm going to be walking around out here. Okay, that looks like plasma. Let's scan it. Okay. Uh, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Oh, okay. Impact hammer. So I need to go my blueprints and make an impact hammer. Pin that to my checklist. So I need scrap metal, gas cylinder, and gear. Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. <laughs> Transports, homes, outpost facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of the structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. <laughs> Just loot away. Should I be scanning everything, by the way? I may as well. It's a backpack. Another backpack. So I can just take the things. Can I not take the other backpack and wear two backpacks at the same time? Um. Oh. Thank you. Watch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. <laughs> what did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. <laughs> Hazmat cabinet. What is this? Ooh, gas cylinder. 
Should I, you know, I'm, I'm going to scan these things before I pick them up. All right. Uh, cool. I don't think it's probably a good idea to use this thing so much, I would guess. My goodness, there's so much rain. There's so much rain. <laughs> Get me out of this storm. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Is this one locked? What about you? Toolbox? What's in here? More screws? Oh my gosh, we're getting a lot of goodies here. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, open it up. Sorry, I'm still like <laughs> trying to get used to all the different mechanics, different controls, everything. This door. More goodies. This, see, this is my this is my main problem with any type of game that does stuff like this, especially like Fallout games. I love the Fallout games, but I am a hoarder. I take every possible thing I can, <laughs> and uh, I just oh, it's only gears. Okay. Oh, friendly trash can or not so friendly trash can? Dumpster. Ooh, ooh. That's a lot of goodies. Okay. No. I keep hitting X to throw things on accident. Okay, some goodies back here. Okay, so I can take apart this car some more, which would be nice. Might get gears out of it. This storm is so loud. Okay, check the cabinet. Still getting more goods. Hey, check the uh, crate. Uh, driver, yes. Sure, yeah, I am. I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind okay. themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. They you bind the themselves. are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind. Huh. They go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. But we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now, I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. <laughs> Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. Thank you. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Oh, you can just craft a gear. Oh! Okay, got it. So we crafted a gear. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Craft another gear, go over here, go to the impact hammer, craft this now. Awesome. Go here and uh, let's go ahead and transfer materials. Wrong direction, transfer those, there we go. Now we transfer materials. Okay, okay, so there's some quick slots. <gasps> oh, this, this, it finally let up. Oh, that's a huge impact hammer. All right, so now we can blast this. Kabooey! Heck yeah. <laughs> Sweet, we got some plasma. All right, let's get the other plasma over here. <laughs> Sweet. Glass shards, copper wire, and some plasma. Awesome. So I still need a lot more plasma. Oh, there's some on this side? Sodium vapor light. No! Keep hitting X instead of pressing C. <laughs> Sodium vapor light. And light housing. Recommended tool, a hand vac. Okay. How do I make a hand vac, I wonder? Um, I'm assuming I don't have it, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, so just gears. So you can refine here utilities, engines, batteries, fuel, lights, wheels. Okay. I want to look at all these things real quick. Crude bumper, crude panel, crude door, 
repair putty, battery jumper mechanics kit, ceiling kit. We can make a first aid kit, scrapper, pry bar, impact hammer. And of course, this is all of the items. Got it. All right, making more sense as we go along. <laughs> We're making a lot more sense of this as we go along. All right, so now that I know I can craft more of these, let's go ahead and take apart the crew panels. And that way we have some more spare parts just in case we need it for our car. I, I greatly appreciate that the... Oh, oh, my wipers on. Oh, I left the car on. That's not good, I'm wasting gas. I've been wasting gas this whole time. Oh no, how much gas do I have left? Where's my gas tank? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I want to see how much... Okay, oh, I guess is isn't too bad. So let's go ahead and take from this guy. See if it's got anything left. Uh, oh, it's got nothing. Okay, uh, so yeah, I can't utilize that. So let's put it back. What was that noise? <laughs> What was that noise? I don't think I want to find out. Yay, goodies! Sweet. I'm still, like, worried that for some of these... <laughs> I don't like it! <laughs> I'm still worried for that. some of these, like, car parts that I find. That you could just take them off of the car and you'll be fine. But it seems like you have to scrap them in order to get any anything decent off of it. Spare tire. Thank you very much. Oh, almost missed some duct tape. And any other... anything else here from this car? No, seems like we got it all. Okay, and then this building we can't really access, so let's get back into our uh, little <laughs> car before these strange things come and get me. Uh, yeah. Okay, back it up. Okay, you can turn off now, please. Let's see if I can drive through the uh, <laughs> all this roughage. <laughs> this roughage over here. All right, continue down this pathway to get some other materials for ourselves. What was that? There's something weird glowing over there, knocking down trees. <laughs> okay, how dangerous is this? This looks pretty dangerous. No, 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 keep it off. Wait, how do I get out? <laughs> there we go. Whoa. This is cool. Anomaly. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. A spark tower. Okay, uh, let's look at the spark tower here. Uh, which one is it? User manual, uh, resources, anomalies, anomalies, oh, anomalies, animalies? We got animalies out here, spark tower, private field notes, Dr. Everett, date unknown, plasma powered spark transmitters combining previously obsolete coils with limb enhanced repeaters have proven to be the best way to boost signals throughout the zone. Constant increase in radiation and electromagnetic interference has made radio communication extremely difficult and often subject to bizarre distortions. These new modified coils appear to have solved that. The addition of local plasma power sources is a reliable way to keep each node within this vital infrastructure both operational and independent. However, the price we have to pay is constant maintenance and repair. They're demanding beasts and burn through components rapidly. If key resistors and capacitors are not regularly replaced, they quickly develop a habit of either shorting or even releasing constant high voltage. Low current discharges into the immediate uh, vicinity. Got it. So, can I not actually get close enough to smash this thing? Is it like on a timer, potentially? Come on. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, cool. I got like a danger symbol though next to my car. Did did that hit my car? I sure hope not. Okay, now <laughs> now I'm legitimately worried about other things being in this world that can like try to come kill me. Okay, go 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 go. Smack it. Ooh, boom. Cool. All right, let's get over here. These things are scary. So these ones have obviously. Ooh, hold on. These ones have been going out of control, essentially. Ooh, got a lot of plasma from those ones. Awesome. Like one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. Prime I've loaded pickings. its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower up on a hill somewhere. Okay. Whoa. I'm assuming that this is a uh, barrier that I can't walk through. Will it hurt me? Ah, uh, stabilized area. Okay, I understand. So that's probably how they restrict you from going like too far out one direction or another. If I were to guess. Manual pockets of stability. Do I want to read that right now? Pockets of stability, sure. The roads and junctions of the zone wind through pockets of stability. You'll be reasonably safe on your drive as long as you keep away from the edges. Should you wander too far out of a stable pocket, you'll find that the weather gets very bad very quickly. And you won't get very far. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. So we had our crafting, drive preparation, zone conditions. So whether you make it through unusual conditions or sudden shifts in the zone, your logbook will be... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, your logbook will be updated with information about uh, what just happened. Introductions, play. My, my, where are our manners? Uh, driver, we never introduced ourselves. Not really. Okay. Tobias Barlow, former Arda maintenance manager. Arda. Oh, and um, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was an R&D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. Okay. We live right in the mid zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old wall from where you're at. Mid zone, oh, got it. And, and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself. Yes. The mother of limb technology, the maven of electromagnetism. That's enough. Resident party pooper. I'm sorry, what is. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I'm scared of that. I'm scared of whatever that is. So, resident party pooper. She doesn't like us, apparently. Let me uh, go ahead and park my car real quick. I'm sorry, what is that giant flying... flying thing? Oh, it's locked! Ooh! I can impact hammer the door, though? Oh, cool. That's convenient. Oh, computer. All right, let's get the scrapper out. Nice. And it looks like I'm going to need to make another scrapper here in a second. Let's go ahead and look around here first, though. See what I can take. Okay. Oh. oh. It is so dark in here. I can't. I personally can't even see. Um... When I do this, the scanner lets me see pretty well. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm just I'm just running around in the dark here. Oh, a lab computer. Okay, let's uh lab computer. So can I scrap it? <gasps> My scrapper tool, no! All right, so let's craft a item. Uh, blueprints, blueprints, a scrapper. I have all those, so we just need to go back to our car then. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't know how dangerous that thing might be. Oh, are those lights gonna drain my battery, potentially? Probably. 
Let's keep our eyes out for that. All right, we're back in. Uh, now we can go over here. Here and scrap some things. Uh, door. Oh, more goodies. Thank you. Thank you. Lap computer. Here we go. This is what I was trying to scrap. <laughs> I like the way it just turns into little little chunks of goodies for us. It's very satisfying. Ah, hazmat cabinet. Oh, I can't open you. Pry bar. Oh, I can open you, in fact. Got it. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's how you get into pretty much every possible little location within this. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I like it. I like it a lot. I did Anomaly. No! Okay, let's scan you real quick. The abductor. Let's go and take a look at this. Letter fragment, date unknown. Dear Maggie, once again, I miss you and the kids so much. Sorry I haven't written sooner, but it's been just crazy out here. I have a few moments right now, so I figured I would be, uh, it would be good to put pen to paper. Hope you don't mind the handwriting being so wiggly, but me and the guys are in a bit of a pickle right now. You see our van got pulled up into a tree. I'm afraid I can't explain exactly what happened. Um, scroll down, top secret things and all, but we're safe. Trust me on that. We also have two hours to wait before rescue comes, hanging 50 feet above the ground and right on a ridge. I'll send this as soon as we get back to the barracks and write you a much better letter after. But in the meantime, here's a picture. Uh, I sketched it out while we were waiting. If there's one thing we have up here, it's a heck of a view. Love always, Joe. So it will apparently lift you up then into the sky? <laughs> Definitely don't want to mess with that. Okay, so let's go find the radio station. That's apparently what's next on our... Oh, I was in drive the whole time. Oopsie. <laughs> We're getting used to it. We're getting used to everything. Don't you worry. Oh, boy, another abductor. Oh, 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 okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep driving. I'm just gonna keep driving for now. I'm just gonna keep driving for now. <laughs> Seems like there's quite a lot of danger here. Just get over here to this. Oh, 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 those are people? <laughs> what is going on here? Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna park my car uh, right here. No, no, keep it off, keep it off. Are these anomalies? They are anomalies. Tourist. So let's see what the tourist is. Dictaphone recording, office of uh, Dr. Richard Preble, circa 1976. Hi, Christina. Hi, how are you? So uh, it turns out you were right. We've had reports from several regions of the zone now, and they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness, and uh, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations, on the road, on top of signs. One report here says on a roof. We've spotted about 600 now. The file catalogs each and every one. Oh, and you're quite right about the other thing, too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We all got plenty of data, data on that. So, uh, I'm gonna be applying for a position in Portland now. <laughs> I've done my review. It was a great time being uh, contracted here, for sure, but I'm not sure I wanna work with Arda full-time, you know? It's, uh, it's very strange here. You work in a very strange place. I'm sure you're doing very important work, and I respect that greatly, but I think I'd like to go back to academia now. Oh God, there's one of them outside. I know for a fact it wasn't there before. Oh boy, okay. So they can move apparently? If I touch it, it blows up? Manual no charging, car battery. Oh crap, oh crap, I need to turn the light off. <laughs> How do I turn the light off? Um, Z, Z, uh, Z. I screwed up, I screwed up. I messed up. <laughs> okay. All right. I still need to find the radio station, but I do want to... There's so many of them. There's so many of them. Pry bar. Um, scan it. Recommended tool. Hands. Got it. 
Oh, uh, fix it with an electrician's kit. Sure, where's my car? I parked, I parked really far away. Uh, electrician's kit. Electrician's kit? Do I have that? The electrician's kit. First aid kit. Repair kit, better. Mechanics? No, I don't have it. Okay, let's get in my car. <laughs> let's turn this bad boy back on. Let's get out of here. See you later. Oh, did I not turn it on? There we go. Get me out of here. <laughs> Get to the gas station real quick. Oh, excuse me, pardon me. It's gonna stop right. Oh, ooh, ooh, I might need to back up a little bit. Okay. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on here in this game. Alright, come get me, I dare you. I dare you. Oh! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! To shock me a little bit. It's fine. That radio station's up on a hill somewhere. Eyes to the horizon. Eyes to the horizon. Whoa! What just happened? <laughs> what is that? The bollard. Okay, let's let's read about this anomaly. Transmission fragment. Origin unknown. March twenty first, nineteen sixty one. Yes, Anita. I do agree with you that this is nothing short of remarkable. And yes, I also think that we're seeing here, that what we're seeing here is something new and unique. Something unmatched by anything the zone has <laughs> previously offered up. I should probably go to safe places before I read, but I must disagree with your conclusions. Strongly. I strongly disagree. These abrupt, dangerous, grotesque things are one of the one of a host of bizarre new geological phenomena. They are uh, they very likely occur in response to ground vibration or local disturbances. And I think that's the end of it. To suggest that they are d a deliberate reaction, even a defense mechanism, takes our discussion in a very different and quite uncomfortable direction. I think we should be reviewing your reports before you submit them. This conversation goes no further, and I'll be scrubbing the transmission logs as soon as possible. Understand? This guy didn't like the findings, apparently. That's pretty cool. So, basically, no. So basically, this will stop you from moving further forward with your car, it seems. That's cool. I like that. I don't like that. I don't like that, though. I don't like whatever's going on here. Oh, I missed a piece. <laughs> this is very strange. <laughs> Big Dan's. We love Big Dan. Okay. I'll break this door open. Wa-boom! Nice. Anomaly safety. <gasps> One, anomaly. Two, apply boot. Three, evade! Oh, that's right, we can kick stuff with, <laughs> with F. I forgot about that. Deer crossing. Oh, another door that I can blast open with this bad boy. Wa-boom! I don't know why I did that. Didn't need to. Side room? I'm. Oh, I need to put stuff away in my car. I'm still genuinely concerned about, like, finding more dangerous anomalies up close and personal, like, while on foot. I don't know how. <laughs> how much of stuff like that we're gonna interact with or see. It's a dangerous world out here. I really like it, but it's very dangerous, very scary, very spooky. Alright, back in the car. Get me back in here. Okay, so the game wants me to just move forward over here, so let's go ahead and do that. Put her into gear. I like this little, the little ping pong ball in the vacuum chamber kind of thing. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Is that maybe like an altitude change? Oh gosh. More of these things. They look different, though. <laughs> this is spooky and scary. I don't like it. <laughs> also, I don't know when the game saves. <laughs> so I'm trying to be careful. I don't know when I should stop recording versus when I should. Oh, did I pass right by it? Oh, I passed right by it. Oh, I'm so stupid. 
Turn it around. <laughs> Back it up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she did say to look up on the crest. Yeah, it's up there. I can see it now. Um, so it's going to be an entrance on my right. Oh, it's where the bollard was. Oh, I'm dummy. <laughs> I'm dummy. Or maybe not where the bollard was. Yeah, how, how does it want me to get up there? I guess going through this way. Oh! Ah, more bollards. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay. Dude, that cone is still going over there. Overlooking camping. Okay, cool. Yeah, the only route I did not take so far. And, yep. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sick. This is the correct path. This is the path that I need to be on. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Getting a little crazy out here. Um, so want me to go up there or it looks like it loops through. I could potentially go off-roading right there, but we'll follow the road. Hopefully it will actually lead me where I want to go. Come on. Come on, we got this. <laughs> this car does not handle off-roading very well. <laughs> These are summer tires and not off-road tires. Sweet. Replace parts. Okay. Yes, yeah, so let's just park you right here. Park it up. Turn it off. Open that door. Buzz buzz. Some weird noises coming in from here. Okay, how do I get in? It's just right here. Just right here. So what's up with this? Broadcast transmitter. Scan it first. So we love scanning. And let's uh, mess with it. Time oh. to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. What? But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my octopus oh. comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, You'll need anchors. Take a look at the arc device display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the arc device to charge it. Huh? Oh, don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Uh, okay. Sure, I guess. Um, so let's go ahead and transfer materials. Oh, yeah, there we go. That makes me feel a whole lot better. Um, crafting. Do I need to craft anything right now? I don't think so. Dang it. Uh, oh, shoot. Broadcast transmitter. Put that in my hand real quick. So what do I need to do with this? So use the arc device map to locate and drive to an anchor site. See the map legend. And recommended collect materials and craft replacement parts. Replace parts. So I probably do, actually. Um, can, I, can I make a trunk? Or I guess I can make a side panel. Yeah, let me, uh, let me see what I can do to make a side panel. Crew door... Group panel. Let's craft it. And then I can just put it on it. Aha! Okay. I like that. That's cool. And I believe I have that putty still. Spare tire. Uh, steel sheet. Repair putty. I'm sorry. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Are there dangers? What's going on? <laughs> Something gonna blow up? Oh, crude panel's actually totally fine. Splotch! Okay, I should probably wait to repair any of this later. Okay, let's make another panel. Uh, another panel. Crafty, crafty. And, oh, rear bumper. Okay. Let's put you here. Sick. Uh, bumper, rear bumper. So let's check this out. So I don't know if I can make that yet, I'm assuming. Crude bumper. Okay. Crude bumper. So can I craft that then? I don't think so. Oh, crude bumper. Oh, okay, yes I can. Hold on. Let's make another bumper. 
Aha! Crew and bumper, please. Thank you. Nice. All right, we're doing it. We are doing this thing. All right, so I think everything is actually technically replaced, minus the actual back trunk. Let me just make sure. So we got bumpers, we got tires, headlights. Oh, I do need another headlight. Let's craft one of those. Throw that back in the socket. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Love that. Okay. Anything else actually that needs to be repaired or replaced? I think we're cool. I think we're cool. Okay. So doors, panels, bumpers, wheels, lights, fuel, battery, engines. Okay. So I'm getting actually a bit closer to making a whole new engine, but I just think we should be okay for now. We could make some more gears if we wanted to. Don't think I really need to do that yet. Since I'm here and I'm next to this guy, let's go ahead and tear this whole thing apart. I'm sure I'll find plenty of doors and cars as we go along, but it's nice to, nice to get these out of the way, I'd say. Sick. Okay, and our new friend did also mention that the instability was coming, so I'm I'm just doing this while I think I have the opportunity. <laughs> I don't know if there's more that's going on here. Or if I need to worry about really anything else. Uh, looks like there's no fuel in there. That's cool. And spare tire. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, wait. Oh, just wrecked a car. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. So, so we need to find, use the arc device map to locate and drive to an anchor site. First of all, let me make sure I still have that item. Yeah, the broadcast transmitter. Um, so I need to drive to one of these sites then. So let's go ahead and put my thingy here. That seems like it'd be a good one. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Oh, see, you know what? How do I make a trunk? <laughs> Let me see if I can make a trunk real quick. I don't know how to make that. Um, Cause what would this be? A steel panel? Crude panel? Yeah, what would this be? Crude door? Crude panel. Worn and weak, this particular crude panel will just uh, about do the job. Don't expect it to stand up to the rigors of the road for long, though. Interesting. So, hmm. Yeah, I, I'm going to hold off on making this because I don't exactly know yet if I need to do that for the, for the rear. Back and drive, back in business, baby! Let's get out of here. Oh, we're running into everything. Ugh, come on. All right. <laughs> All right, we are on our way back on the road again. Oh. <laughs> get terrible traction in this thing. <laughs> it's like I'm building the DeLorean from Back to the Future in here. <laughs> There's so many, like, devices and like little ooh ooh that wasn't good that wasn't good that was not good <laughs> oops okay so crashing into things will definitely deteriorate deteriorate my vehicle so that's no good so I need to be a little little more careful can't be super reckless while driving my car <gasps> Oh, I can't go out that way? Or can I just go around like this? Yeah, oh yeah, we're fine. <laughs> it's cool, we're fine. Nice, nice, nice. Break on through. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to do that, but it's okay. It's fine. Oh yeah, so what is that? Whoa. Pretty cool looking. All right, so let's turn off the car. Put it in park. Not in that order, usually. <laughs> and let's see what this is all about. 
So, Anchor. So, let's scan it. Anchor plug. Anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Okay. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face recently. Got it. Private field notes, Dr. Mensa, March 30th, 1970. We have now completed the process of standardizing and replacing all of the anchor mounts and infrastructure. These new mounts should be far more durable, steadfast against weather and atmospheric changes, and resistant to any corrosion. This has been a lengthy and difficult process marred by endless delays. It's my hope that most of these mounts will hold for at least 50 years. I hear dangerous. Uh... <laughs> Uh, at least 50 years. Uh, but many projections suggest two or even 300. That's far longer than any anchors them than many anchors themselves. This was, I believe, worth it. As usual, I'll be compiling and submitting a full casualty list by uh, 10 hundred hours uh, tomorrow morning. At that time, I'll begin to notify next of kin. Which just blew up over there. So what do I do with it? Let's touch. Touch the staple. Anchor. Okay. Oh, I put it in there. Okay, close the door. Return to the auto shop. Uh, select a gateway coordinates. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage. Okay. But it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught oh. in a storm that follows. Oh! 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 oh. Oh! Oh, okay. Yo, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, uh... <laughs> let's go ahead and leave. Uh... <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Get me out of here. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what do I do? Get me out of here. <laughs> Let's move just a, a little bit further away from here real quick. <laughs> Get me on the road, please. <laughs> okay, okay, stop the car. Stop the car. All right. So select gateway coordinates on the map. Got it. Um, Gateway coordinates. Link the gateway. Sure. Oh, drive. It says drive. You see that glowing pillar into the sky? You can drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Okay. So you want me to drive? Oh, no. 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 No, wait a second. Okay, you want me to drive into that? Let's drive into that. Why don't we? Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is crazy! <laughs> we gotta move! <laughs> okay, come on, come on! <laughs> Drive into the hot death, let's go! <laughs> oh my! Goodness, what a ride! <laughs> Success. Oh, well, well. You're alive. <laughs> that was but great. <laughs> the zone didn't get you that gateway wood. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, there have been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. Anyway, oh, thanks for that. <laughs> so, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only okay. way to get back with all your marbles intact. Got it. Now. Take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so anchor bring back juice. as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place, mess up my equipment, and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. Okay. Be clear? Uh, Claire, got it. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know what's happening right now. Locked. Heavy duty. 
how, how do I get in? How do I break open back room doors with an impact? Oh, okay. Of course, I just put the impact hammer away. Um, oh, boy. Hold on. Let's <laughs> put you there, put you there, put you there, put you there. Now we got an impact hammer. Let's break this bad boy up. And... Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I don't know when the game saves, by the way. How do I know when the game has saved? Oh, save game. Oh. You just save it like that? Oh, okay. Well, that's super easy then, right? So the reason I'm confused about this is because I was checking the reviews on the game, and it seemed like almost all of the mixed reviews or negative reviews for this game were about how you can't save the game in certain sections. Um, which is very interesting. I mean, I guess it auto-saved right here at 122, um, but I don't know if I could have saved at any point sooner. I guess, yeah, that's that's probably something I need to take a look at in case, like, I try to save mid, mid thingy. But I think this is a wonderful, wonderful introduction, introduction to the game. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here. <laughs> A lot of learning, a lot of... Ooh, what is this big old thing? Uh, a lot of getting used to the mechanics of this. I'm very much enjoying this so far. So I'm excited to jump back into it and uh, record another episode of this. I'll probably have part two be a bit longer uh, than this introductory part. So now that we've kind of got situated, got, I think, probably the tutorial of this game out of the way the world will probably be a bit more open to us. I can do a bit more exploring on the rooftop. And uh, find some more anomalies, find some more dangerous things, get some materials, get some crafting, and hopefully make our way out of this exclusion zone. Or who knows, maybe we'll be, maybe we will become this like great resource to the people who are stuck in here in this exclusion zone. Or maybe we'll just end up leaving, but uh, very curious kind of what it ends up doing overall. Oh! <laughs> My hammer broke! <laughs> love that. Absolutely love that. Alright, so we got fuel out here among other things. Um, sold out! Super unleaded. Just fine though. Pine tree auto repair. Okay, so that's the pl what the place is called that we're hanging out in. This is really cool. I'm very curious about the, gosh, what did they call it? What did they call it? Um, whoa, whoa, I can go to a lot of different places now in here. So we just were in E5, I believe. Yeah, the damp forest, blistering woods. Damp forest, damp forest, damp forest. Unknown, damp forest, interesting. Um, sorry, yeah, I wanna, I wanna check to see what they called the car. Uh, what was it that they called it? So this is resources. I don't think anywhere about that. Anomalies, bollard tourist, abductor spark tower. So there's a lot. Ooh, there's a oh, there's a whole lot of anomalies to uncover. This is gonna be cool. Um, conditions. So perpetual stability. So oh my gosh, we're just dipping our toes into this game. We are literally just dipping our toes into this game. Um, found items. I don't care about that as much. Crafting statuses. Auto shop, um, let's see, what else do we have? Detailing, <laughs> records, transmissions. Okay, build the antenna. What is this, tire, oh sorry, trip report. Car damage, uh, interesting. So most of my car damage was from impact. Or no, it was from, what is that supposed to be? Stable, unstable, corrupted. What in the world? <laughs> what is happening in this game? <sighs> okay, I'm sure I'm sure I'll get a lot of feedback from the from all of you here in the community. Uh, so I'd love to hear kind of thoughts on what's going on here. What you think maybe I should have some priority on? And I don't know. We'll see how things go. But it's been a lot of fun so far. Got to fix up my car. <laughs> We're gonna make the coolest car ever in the world. Uh, save the game. Once more, yeah, why not? Uh, sorry, I was trying to say, though, 
uh, I'm curious how the relationship of this car to us, like we become obsessed with it, is is what they were mentioning. And until it's like an, like I I don't know I I don't know I don't know I'm I'm curious to know what this is going to turn into, um, and if the, the I guess our car is an entity in in some capacity or maybe I misunderstood that. Oh, did the car? The car came back. It has all of its panels again. Interesting. Anyway, <laughs> let's go back to the main menu. Um, Save quit. Yes. Yes, please. Pacific Drive. Yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. Thank you all, everybody, for recommending this. Um, I remember I saw uh, Jacksepticeye. He posted a, a, this video. And I was like, huh, Pacific Drive. That seems interesting. He had a real interesting title for it, too. So I was like... I kind of want to watch this, but then I was like, I should probably play it first. <laughs> because it seems uh, right up the alley of this channel here, and again, all of you were recommended it. So, thank you for being here. Again, like I was mentioning earlier, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It truly does help me out uh, in knowing that you want to see a continuation of this series. Uh, I'd be happy to play through this whole game, but um, again, want to see how it performs here for the channel. If you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification as well. That way you know whenever I'm uploading any new videos and any new episodes of Pacific Drive. And of course, if you want to check out any other content that I have, it's always listed in the description down below. All my other social media, websites, links, whatever you want to go follow me on. And with all that being said, <laughs> you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.